Hey everyone, welcome to our EMT prep video on normal ECGs. We wanted to make this video so we could establish a solid foundation upon which we'll build future videos that will be centered around things like arrhythmia identification and even 12 lead ECG interpretation. Knowing the acceptable limits of each of the five major components of an ECG beat is crucial to interpreting what may be wrong with the heart. So let's get started by examining each component and its acceptable limit. First is the P wave, shown down here in purple. The P wave normal limits are 0.08 to 0.11 seconds. And as you'll recall, on the ECG paper we all have, a small box is 0.04 seconds and a large box is 0.20 seconds. The P wave represents atrial depolarization, or the contraction of the atria in the heart. Next is the PR interval. A normal limit for the PR interval is 0.11 to 0.20 seconds. The PR interval represents all events from the initiation of impulses up to when the ventricles depolarize. The QRS complex, represented here in red, has a normal limit of 0.06 to 0.11 seconds. We consider it wide at 0.12 seconds, and the QRS complex represents ventricular depolarization. Next is the QT interval. The QT interval has a normal limit of roughly 0.40 seconds. A prolonged QT interval is when the QT interval is greater than 0.42 seconds or just greater than uh, two large boxes on your ECG paper. Next is the T wave, shown here in this greenish yellow line that ends when it turns blue. With the T wave, we look for symmetry. We will look for a slow upstroke followed by a fast downstroke. And that's it. Those are the five major components of the ECG beat and the normal limits of each one. Check back soon for future videos on arrhythmia identification and 12-lead ECG interpretation.